Hey YouTube, another shark video. I'm doing a video on the MOSFET upgrade for the bed. Uh, same thing for the extruder if you like. Um, I have already installed this, but there's a lot of you asking questions. Uh, I printed out a bracket that holds the motherboard and the MOSFET together. And uh, this is how it's installed. You get that white plug, the control in, and it goes to your motherboard. It's just two wires. I will put a diagram on there, a picture also. And your connection terminals, they need to be, uh, I recommend, crimped with uh, wire connectors. It's uh, pretty simple. The blue connectors you see there, that goes to the power supply positive or negative and then the top one goes to your heat bed red and black and it does not matter uh, how you hook those up it's just a resistor heating up the bed but if you have an LED then it will matter um, your LED will not turn on if it's hooked up backwards so it's your choice it will not hurt anything though and like I said uh, that plug there is your control in from your motherboard telling the MOSFET to turn on and off so that the motherboard tells the MOSFET when to turn on and off and that's how that works this is the heatsink here I ran this and after hours of printing I could touch this with my fingers and it does not get that hot so that's when you know it's running good uh, I ran mine on uh, behind here and I put shrink tubing on there to make it more secure and stable. I put those uh, ring uh, terminal connector crimps on there to make it a real solid connection, eliminate future problems, just crimp it, do it right and your printer will love you for it. And my wires come through here. And I soldered the connection that goes from the wire here to the bed so I could remove it. If this ever gives me any problems, which you won't, then I'll just solder the wires straight. The wires uh, straight. And uh, that is, I believe that was a 14 gauge wire 